Hello everyone, Lord Thunder here. Now every once in a while there comes a game so groundbreaking that it changes your definition of what it means to be a video game. For me, the 16-bit er era contained two. The first was Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, my first foray into like a, a really long, like, 10 hour plus game that couldn't just be, you know, beaten in one weekend. And the other was Earthbound, my first real foray into JRPGs that I really got into. Um, there was something just about that whole, you know, 1990s era. Uh, I don't know if genre is the right word or whatever you want to call it. Um, it was set in modern times. I really wasn't into the castles and dragons stuff at that time. This was something I could relate to. Uh, the game was funny. Uh, the enemies were funny and quirky, as lighthearted, and it just really appealed to me as a kid. And to this day, it remains my favorite game of all time. So what we're gonna do now is start my favorite game of all time, Earthbound, for the Super Nintendo. Enjoy. Oh, the nostalgia. Oh, the nostalgia. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, here we go. We're gonna start a new game, obviously. What style of windows do we prefer? Mint, strawberry, banana, peanut. I was always partial to mint. All right, here we go. This character naming spot right here. Every time I started this game when I was a kid, let me know I was in for one hell of a fun ride. And we're just gonna go with the default names just for the sake of nostalgia. There's Paula. Jeff. Who? Yeah, I don't know how he got that name. Music here is bringing back all kinds of nostal nostalgia. Right in the childhood. Okay, Scott. Favorite thing. Favorite thing. Rockin'. Okay, Scott. Which becomes the name of Nessa's signature oh. attack. That's right, it is not necessarily PK Flash as Smash Brothers would have you believe. Ninety nine X Onet, a small town in Eagleland. That's right, Eagleland. Not a play on England, but a play on Eagle Land, as in the bald eagle. It's basically an XP of America through the eyes of Japan. This is house. Shh. It's quiet. Everyone's asleep. Here we go. We got Ness and his PJs. This is Tracy, little sister. Hey, bro, did the sun wake you up? Were you freaked out? Let's see what's in here. A cracked bat. Let's go ahead and equip that. We're going to need it. Do you think Mom will let me stay up late tonight? I can't seem to fall back asleep. Well, you didn't exactly try, did you? You're just walking around your room. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Besides humans, dogs are also asleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? 
Because there's something going down, Fido. Alright, Mom. I'm going out to check on this loud noise outside, which may or may not be dangerous. Oh, we got the popo. Oh, that police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. Don't panic. It's just a what meteorite that who fell, and I just want to what go home. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Ooh, a meteorite, huh? Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm gonna be try to be the first to get there. Well, then you better stop walking in place and get going. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. Um, no. Meteorite has landed. Sharks are running wild in town. You kids are run wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you to not to go, it won't stop you, will it? No, probably not. I want to see this meteorite for myself. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Yes, I know what time it is. Oh, what's in here? As a bread roll, that might come in handy later. Liar exaggerates. Hey Ness, hiya buddy, a meteorite fell down and went BOOM! It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way Ness, did you check out my billboard? I wrote the message myself, that's my real job, you know? I'm a billboard guy. Check out my work. Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. Right, I can totally trust him. Meteorite looks different from usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? And you live in the house next to his, I see. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, of way out, get my... Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way! Pokey, move your fat butt. Let me waiting for me. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Yes. Later that night... Someone's knocking at the door. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My mom? My land, who could be knocking at the door this time of night? Would you answer it? I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Pokey! Hey, look. Listen to what I got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're the local ruffians, they were going really wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I don't blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find... Find him yourself, you little turd. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Okay. I didn't want you to hurt my feelings. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know the dog is unreliable, you should take King along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should just change on your jammies before you leave. Right, Mom, I'm a natural-born fighter, and all I'm going to do is go find my friend's little brother. Oh well. You, I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry, so here's a cookie. Ness got a cookie. No, I don't really even have anything, as you can see. Right, doggo. Let's go. 
King joins you. Alright, Pokey. Pokey joins you. Up, oh, the telephone is ringing. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. You have your ATM card. You can withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father were of a hero, at least. Wah ha 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 ha. Slam, beep, beep, beep. Alright. When I first started playing this game, I was younger than this. And now I'm old enough to be a dad myself. <laughs> My, how the time flies. Where are you going, crow? That's right. Uh-oh, here we go. Battle time. You engage the runaway dog. Loud piercing howl, king used fighting attack. Six damage. That was easy. Nessa's level is now two. Realize the power of life up alpha. Ah, uh, there's another dog. Out of my way, Fido. Missed. Runaway dog became tamed. Yeah, that's how it's done. Not even a threat. Oh, there's another crow. Okay, here we go. Stole a bread roll. Give me back that bread roll. Need that. Oh, he took my bread roll. I should have saved it. Oh well. It's replaceable. You get back here, bird. I'm gonna bash your beak in. Ouch. That's for all the other bread rolls you've stolen. Well, it's better than nothing. I love that recovery sound. Hey, look, the cops are gone. And let's talk to Picky. Ooh! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Oh, there goes that cowardly mutt. Courage the cowardly dog there. Huh? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Well, let's go home now. I'll let Mom and Dad are right sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <sighs> Picky joins you. Ness, do you hear a buzzing sound that sounds like a bee flying? No. Eh. Yes, you can hear it. What is that column of light? It's a bee thing. A bee I am not. I'm from ten years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. Passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. It is my opinion that you were that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things of utmost importance, wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends set from the ancient times tell three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, do not be anxious about the future, you have much work to do. Take a listen to what I just told you. Yes. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Buzz Buzz joins you now. 
Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this thing, this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Uh-oh. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Alright, Mr. Robot, I'm ready for you. Protected by the Psychic Shield. Easiest boss in the game right here. Just because Buzz Buzz is with us. With the way Buzz Buzz's AI works, it's statistically impossible to lose this match by any normal means. If you do a boatload of grinding on those really low-level enemies, you can get Ness to the level where he learns his own shield, and by using it, will override Buzz Buzz's shield and make him vulnerable to Starman's psychic attacks, and he'll pretty much die right away. As I said, though, you have to intentionally do that. Otherwise, Buzz Buzz will just keep... keep the shield up. Come on, you dumb robot, just die already. Starman Jr. defeated. Ness is now level 3. Phew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts that so definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. I'm listening. Tell me more, old wise one. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Run! Run! Dad's coming! <laughs> By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less, but because of the phone, my family had loan. <laughs> My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. Ah, I think it's a dog beetle! I'll smash your guts out! Buzz Buzz, no! Ah! <laughs> I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remember. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these places is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. You are a very intelligent man. Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark! <laughs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome, awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Did you want to hear the story one more time? No. God, no. I've got a world to save. Ness got the sound stone. The focal item of our journey. comes one of the most annoying aspects of this game, the cameraman. 
Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a pho photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Right now, my fond, fond memories are just playing this game as a kid. Own a public library. Use the library more. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Really? Hi! Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yes. Here's a map. Oh, that isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map. Hit the X button. Okay, near the top. Haha. Uh -huh. Giant step, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made giant step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. Probably. I'm gonna find out. Uh oh. Uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. Yes, I have to save the world. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I've known you wanted it for a long time. Best cap for someone really brave like you. First thing we're gonna have to do is beat Frank. And we're gonna need all the help we can get for that. Ness dug around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a hamburger inside. Ness takes it. Yum. Yum. Oh, nope. I don't want to go there. Yummy. Garbage burgers. Oh, you hurt my feelings. Yeah, I just have to get some money first. Ninety-six bucks. Take that T-ball bat off your hands. Yes, I want you to like equip it here. Okay. All right, let's deposit my money. No, I don't want to. Balance of zero dollars. So uh, we'll do all of it. So I'm probably gonna wind up dying, but I'm eventually gonna need enough money to buy the cheap bracelet if I want to beat Frank. in the freaking childhood. Pow wow, don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells things you can use? I know about it. That's a talking dog. Rumor has it the shark's boss is hanging out near near the giant step. Really, because I heard he was in the arcade. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take me a couple of hours to sign this paper snicker snort. We don't have any openings for part-time employees at this time. Well, good, because I'm a kid and I can't even see over this counter, you and me. Did I tell you that I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry, I did ant mean to spoil it for you. Aha, uh -huh. stop me, lady. Uh-oh. Officer Farva here is trying to stop me. The mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town, like the sharks and the meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's tried to reform the sharks? Whoa! You gotta be kidding. Scram. I'll show you. Everyone will thank me once I get rid of those thugs. If that's the only way I can get the key. All I want is to go to Giant Step, and now I gotta fight a bunch of gangsters? What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard. Of, he's in the backyard of the arcade, the game arcade. Thinking about love, peace, and love. You might want to visit him. Oh, I'm gonna visit him. All right. Do you want to start a fight or what? No, do you? Oh, guess you do. All right, let's go, skate punk. I shredded fiercely on a skateboard, but missed. Oh, 17 damage. Ness's level is now four. Hypnosis. A can of fruit juice. 
You want to meet Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Who says he's gonna beat me up, Pogo Punk? Oh, 22. Ouch. Yeah, see, like I said. Nope, 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 nope. Ugh. As I thought, it was a good idea depositing that money, because now... Had I not done that, my money would have been cut in half. Alright, Dad, tell me how much I got. One do I don't even have one dollar. <laughs> Balance of 72. Not quite ready yet. Alright, let's try that again. Oh. That's why their attacks have been hurting so bad. I forgot to equip... Mr. Baseball Cap. Uh oh. Oh no no no! Oh, there's two of them. This ain't gonna be good. All oh, my psychic coins are down too. Let's get rid of the mess. Yes, man, Junior first, cause he can call in other members. All right, that garbage burger is gonna come in handy right now. Miss me. Goodbye, skate punk. Don't come back around here no more, doobop. Alright, now I should have enough money to buy some better equipment here in my town. 10 to 15, nothing else, thanks a bunch. Alright, now here's a problem. And now I have no money to buy any healing items, so we're gonna have to go back home and rest, because I can't afford the the hotel either. Do you want to meet Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up to- Oh yeah, I remember you. I'm gonna beat you up this time. Take that. And that! Oh, I missed. Ow. Woof! Got him! Thank you for dropping me a hamburger. Oh, uh, let's see, I think I'm still at level 4, and you're probably gonna want to be at level 5 before you even try to beat Frank. It was you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Well, your buddy had it coming. He attacked me first. You're gonna share his fate. Smash! I like that. Yay, another hamburger. Those are gonna come in handy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. I'll kick your butt right back. Freak has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I'll bet you can stand against any enemy. Spit, 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 saliva, spit, spit. Want some gum? Get your own twit. I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Uh, yeah, I did forget. <laughs> I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So are you get ready to get it on, Spanky? Yay, level five! All right. We might be ready to visit old Frank now. Let's eat a, eat a cookie. And another cookie. Drink that fruit juice. I'm still not at maximum health. Come back after you finish Earthbound. No, I don't want to be a member. I want to kick your butt. No, but HP and damage. That was pathetic. <laughs> you suck. Channeling my inner Shao Kahn there. Alright, 60 HP. Let's see if we can do this. I'm Frank. You are? 
Come on, can't you at least say your name? My name is Ness. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, wait. Wrong. Oh, 21. Oh, ouch. 21 again. Up oh, nine. His knife, his knife attacks really put the hurt on. <laughs> Said something nasty. Brandish a knife. Ah, missed. Frank came out swinging. <laughs> Got him on my first try. All right, now that Frank is dealt with, we get to fight his robot. Fail-proof Frank can't be beaten. This is Frankie Stein Mark II. What happened to Mark One? Okay, this is... Throw a punch. The robot has a very predictable pattern. Every other turn, it will generate a burst of steam. And you can plan accordingly. Oh, 30! Hope he doesn't do that again, because if he does, I'm screwed. Eh, unless I heal. Threw a punch. Punch. Is this the incredibly powerful weapon that other guy was talking about? A wooden robot that I destroyed with a baseball bat? Woof! Not much of a weapon. Guts went up by one, HP went up by three. Yeah! This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get the giant stuff. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to giant The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the touring entertainer shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Let's get some Betty by. This right here, there's nostalgia in this song, too. Good morning! Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in Onet Times. Complaints about sharks gang suddenly melt into thin air. You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You better be careful. Yeah, I already whipped their butts, lady. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. Yes, I can believe it, because they tried to beat me up, too. Let's call Daddy. Save and take a break. Since you beat up the sharks, here's the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Thank you so much for all of your help. Yeah, now you're nice to me, huh? In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punch them out big time, kick their butts, spit their heads off, spit in their eyes and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. The key to the Tory Entertainer Shack. For someone as great as you, giving the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Ness got the key to the shack. Alright, now we can go... A punk named Frank may have trashed the place. Wow, you opened the door. All right, here's a trinket for good luck. It's the travel charm. Uh-huh, the big footprint is called Giant Step. What a way cool name. All right. Enough. Giant Step Cave, here we go. You engage the Rowdy Mouse. Smash! 13. They get smash attacks a lot. You only did 
one that time. Goodbye. Mr. Mouse. Yes, his level is now seven. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Now we got the black antoids. Yep, you just wasted your psychic points using a spell you didn't need. Oh! It's a little lion's pack a punch! But I'm gonna stomp him! Weak. Actually, they almost got me. Let's heal up. Skip sandwich. That will allow me to loop, move faster for a while. Okay, now, now the pit, the attack slugs are starting to gang up on me. Three, three, three. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Oh, there's another mouse. Haha, -ha, you can't get me. Oh, you want some? A little squeaker. One HP. Ooh, a smash. Which does about as much damage as the Black Antoid's normal attack. 34 experience points from that little excursion. And what do we got here? One little antoid. Uh oh. Two little antoids. He called for help. Oh, you healed. You should have used that on your friend, you dope. Oh, good. Oof. I thought we were gonna get a third one here. Ah, there's a third one. I should have healed when I had the chance. No. That didn't really help me out. And there's nothing in here. I died for nothing. Don't you do it. Don't you call for help. Whew. That was a close one. What do we have here? Oh, mouse. Rowdy mouse. <laughs> He's missing. You get your eyes checked, Mr. Mouse. Alright. So far, so good. We continue. Oh. Oh, we got some slugs to deal with now. Four of them. Didn't work very well. Goodbye. Didn't work very well. Missed. Oh, you can concentrate now. Oh, get rid of him quick. Whew. Yes. That's good. A bomb. What was a slug doing carrying a bomb? Oh, baby, Gus went up by three. All right, we know PSI rockin', so I think we're just about ready to try to take our first Your Sanctuary location. Allow me to show you, show you my newfound power. Aha, uh -huh, one HP. Just missed. <laughs> Weak, as I thought. Got too much stuff already? Alright, let's eat a hamburger then. Cold remedy, that'll come in handy later. When I go through peaceful Rest Valley filled with UFOs that 
give you coins. One little black anthoid. Two little black anthoids. I cursed myself again, saying that line. Let's not let this get out of hand like the last time. Doesn't matter how much you recover, you're not surviving this. <laughs> 118 and 58, there's a lot of uh, variation in how strong that move can be. But okay, enough of the cuckoo. Observe, I have zero psychic points. Visit the magic butterfly. Now I have 20 out of 25. Let's see if we can get it to reappear. out on health and psychic points, I think we're ready to take on the titanic ant. Ah, you had to do it, didn't you? I'm save my psychic points. Smashed! Yes! Smash! Got too much stuff already. Okay, let's fix that. I used a hamburger so I can get a hamburger. <laughs> Brilliant! Let's try not to let it attack me from behind. chance to try to try to avoid these two. Stop calling for help. Nah. Alright. This is level is now nine. Restore health. Delicious, fatty, beefy burgers. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. I dare. I'm gonna open up with PSI Rock and Ooh, 23 damage. Can't even see the second one hiding behind him. Oh, defense down. Drop by one. Oh, he bit me. Take that. Uh, let's heal. Oh, heal, 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 heal. Whew. That's not the point of the game. I have not discussed yet. Um, if you receive enough damage to actually kill you, and you recover before. It reaches zero, then you survive. Okay, he used the Shield of Light, which is the shield against physical attacks, so let's use PSI Rockin' again. He is. In, oh, 36 damage. He's not going down without a fight. You know what? Let's use that bomb we got from the slug, see how that goes. Ness dodged in through the bomb. <laughs> yes! Got him! Yes! Oh. Her father don't want to knock. Oh, Ness's level is now 10! Power of healing, Alpha. Alright. Didn't want to knock down my Dragon Ball Z poster there. Uh, nostalgia.
I didn't like this song as a kid, but now I love it. That's <laughs> caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Yes, the soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. <laughs> Alright, enough. Now that I killed the Titanic and all the other enemies in this area will flee from me upon sight, that makes returning much easier. Ah, it's the Popo! Hey you, the board says don't do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Yes, I read it. So you just didn't want to read the sign, huh, kid? Get your butt to the Onet police station later. Um, excuse me, but the mayor gave me permission. He gave me the key. Take it up with him. So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter just means means just that. Do not enter. You got that? Furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, blah, blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. Blah, blah, blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah, 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 blah. I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Man, am I steam. Don't even try talking to me. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> follow me. <sighs> Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Hey, small fur, you must be shaking in your boots. Oh, you want to fight me, officer? Miss attacks, 29. Oh, 29. Police brutality! Police brutality! I'm just a kid. I need an adult. I need an adult. Okay. One down. You're tough. You should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ugh, 29. Take that. Ugh, another chop. Take that. Woof. Better start watching my HP there. Oh, you won. Your average policeman is not stronger than a kid, I guess. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Fat boy, huh? Alright. Yep, he missed. Get your eyes checked, son. Ooh. these cops trying to beat up on one innocent little kid. I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. Let's see you try it. Ow. Let's heal up. Oh, oh, oh. Heal, 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 heal. Woo! Close. Smash! Oh, I came back with a vengeance there. <laughs> yeah, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. Your boss is right there, Chief Strong. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo, Tong Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. And get ready for my Psychic Powers. Captain Strong. Captain Strong lost his temper, went up by one. Captain Strong is on guard, he can't block this. <laughs> Flawless victory. Level 11. Yes. Yes. 
I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty ONET police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a second. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep. Click. Strong here, do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Uh, he's a nice enough guy, I guess. Hey, I'm in here. Go and find another can. Ha! I was just joking. Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Undercover, eh? I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time. <laughs> I love the self-reference. Why are you asking about a driver's license? You're way too young to even think about getting behind the wheel, you little pest. Well, the riot's over. Now I can move on to parking enforcement. Hooray, life is good. dum dee 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 Excellent. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the hotel. We're gonna rest. And then we're gonna head on to Tucson in our next episode. We better see how much Dad gave us. Oh, $607. Thank you, Dad. Wish my dad gave me that kind of allowance when I was a kid. Hotel Onet, one stay, $35. Yes, blah, blah, blah. We've seen this before. Ness? 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 I'm a friend whom you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all. Good morning, here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Many citizens of ONET suffer due to crooked real estate agents. Ooh, sounds like real life, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna call Dad and call it a day. It's your dad. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing set, reset, all right? All right, we are done with the Onet chapter of Earthbound, my favorite game of all time. Uh, stay tuned, because I will definitely be revisiting this game in the future, and we'll be going on to Tucson. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.